Hi everyone, in this flipped teacher professional learning video, we're going to take a look at one way that you can give the agency to your students in terms of using the class Twitter account. Now typically a Twitter account is managed by one person uh, unless you share the password to that account. You probably don't want to do that with your students depending on the age uh, of those students. However, there is a way that you can give students a way to tweet um, that you can then moderate the tweets before they actually go out to the public. Now, this is not an idea that I've had. This is a tool that Alice Keeler over at alicekeeler.com has come up with, and she's given me permission to share this with you. Now, the tool that we're looking for is here on this page. The, her article is called Class Twitter Account, How Your Students Can Tweet. Now, it's what it is is a spreadsheet uh, with which uh, Alice has embedded some scripts. Now when you download or when you make a copy of the spreadsheet, it looks like this in your Google Sheets. Uh, we've got a couple of columns that we need to take a look at and understand what they are. Obviously the tweet column, column A, this is where your students, when you put this sheet in a shared folder in Google Drive uh, or wherever is appropriate for your LMS, uh, that is where they will type their tweet. Uh, they would put their name there so that you know who it is uh, and an alias if, you, if they want their name included in the tweet. This uh, column here actually has a counter that will count the number of characters. Obviously, tweets are limited to 140 characters maximum, and this will actually tell the students how many characters they've got um, so that they know whether they've got enough or whether they need to shorten their tweet. This column here uh, is where they will actually put the class hashtag. Obviously, that will be a discussion that you need to have with your students. Um, when you've got the... Uh, when the tweet is ready to go, the uh, there will be a link here that says make this tweet and then it goes out to whichever Twitter account you are logged into. So you do need to make sure when you're going through this and um, publishing these tweets that you're actually logged into the class Twitter account and not your own Twitter account. Very important distinction there. So let's take a look at what this might look like. So you would put it into, I'm using Google Drive with my students, so you'd put this into uh, the shared Google Class folder. Um, the students might go into it and they might put something here, it might be an exit ticket. Um, so today I learned what a denominator, oh. today I learned what a denominator is. And that might be it. You can see there that the number of characters column has now populated and it tells me that there are 38 characters. It's, there's now also a publish link. So click here to tweet. Uh, I'm going to put Jim in there. Jim published that. Um, and now if I click on that, that tweet will be published to my class Twitter account. So let's just change this to say test. Let's click on that. So that's cycling through. So I'm logged into my class Twitter account at the moment. And there we go, it brings up this, um, this page here. So it gives me the information here. Today I'll learn what a denominator is via test. So that would be where the student's name pops up. There's the class hashtag. You then have the opportunity to add in other hashtags if that's appropriate to do so. When you're ready with it, hit tweet and it will pop out into the class Twitter uh, class Twitter feed, uh, ready for everybody to see. View one new tweet. There we go. So this is a really useful way of giving students access to uh, the Twitter account, but still being able to moderate it for any inappropriate or silly comments and make sure that students aren't giving away information that they shouldn't be in terms of digital privacy and digital citizenship. Uh, again, those are conversations you would need to have, but that is an absolutely fantastic tool from Alice Keeler. If you haven't checked out her website, I definitely would recommend you do so. The website again is alicekeeler.com and to get access to the that particular um, Google Sheets, the link is here on the screen, tinyurl.com forward slash tweet my class. Again, feel free to pause and rewind this video if you're still not quite sure about it, but I'd recommend that you jump over to Alice Keeler's website and grab a copy of this spreadsheet. Thanks for watching.